But you must remember this morning that Jesus' blood shed for you is the sacrifice made on your behalf, and you must remember it everywhere you go. The blood on the doorpost was an important reminder that the blood is your covering. They put the blood on top. So every time they went in and out of the doors, the blood served as a covering. Every time they entered and left their home, it covered them. And every time you enter and leave your home, every time you enter and leave any building, the blood is your covering. No matter what you go through in life, it covers you. The blood covers you when you're tempted to go back to your old life. It covers you when you're filled with guilt and shame. The blood covers you when you're stricken with fear. It covers you when you feel forsaken and forgotten, when you feel alone, when you feel hopeless, when you feel unloved. The blood covers you. Or you may say, Pastor, I've chosen to go my own way so many times. I've gone against God's will for me so many times. I've withheld my heart for him so many times. Friends, the blood covers you. You say, well, you don't understand, Pastor. I had a rough childhood. The blood covers you. Well, you say, Pastor, I've, I've even served time in prison. The blood covers you. You say, I, 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 I feel so much guilt and shame. It's like a spiral, a cycle in my life that I can't seem to break out of. The blood covers you. Well, I'm estranged from friends and family. I've done so many people wrong, and, and they won't forgive me. The blood covers you. You may say, I've wasted so many years. The blood covers you. And this is why you should never let anyone hold anything over your head, especially as a believer, because the blood already covered you. You just tell them that your whole world has changed now. You just tell them that you have a new beginning in Jesus. You just tell them that you've entered into a new world, a new world that God had in store for you, a new world where his blood covers you from all your sin, from all your mistakes. And this new world is a world hand-carved for you. It's a world that you can finally call home. It's a world of plenty. A world filled with God's richest blessings for your life. It's a world where you'll experience his peace. A peace that this old world can't give and this old world can't take away. I don't have this in my notes, but the blood of Jesus allows you to have a new birthday. It allows you to have 
new events throughout your year, throughout your months, throughout your days that remake your calendar. You don't have to hide from certain times of the year. You don't have to say, oh my goodness, 15 years ago, oh, on October 12th, this happened to me. God's giving you a new day to commemorate in your life a new world so you no longer have to walk with your head down. David said, he's the lifter of my head. You put your shoulders back and you remember that the blood of Jesus covers you. It's on the doorpost of your heart and it covers you everywhere you go. Amen.